Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the Sanyo Incognito. Pretty nice phone. Um, it's from Boost Mobile. Well, it's a Boost Mobile version. Version, as you can see right there. Um, you can also get it in Sprint. But in Sprint, it comes in black. As you might know, if you're like really looking into this type of phone. Um, it's a clamshell phone, as you've seen when I opened it and closed it. Um, on Boost Mobile is not an Iden series phone because it does not have chirp. Um, yeah, because um, the reason why I think that Boost Mobile has the exact same phone as Sprint is because Sprint owns Boost Mobile. Yeah, not saying it's only it, like it devours it, like it's so much cooler, but it owns it in a way as it owns that company. Yeah, and when I open it, as you can see, it's a nice full QWERTY keyboard like when I got it like I think I got it in April it is now August so I've had it for a little bit a couple months it's an awesome phone it works really great for me but I'm really looking into the new T well not new but the T-Mobile tap I like that it's only $119 touchscreen from T-Mobile um but like just like let's take a little view of its clothes. Okay, it has a mirror finish as you can see. That's me recording. Um, yeah. So mirror finish, and just click that, move it down, let it come back up. Hold on. And there you go. The glow through keypad keypad comes up. Sorry. Um, you can go to little stuff like your contacts, your history, your Mr. Alerts, you could like see a lot of stuff, but when you get a text, you will, it will tell you where you got the text from, and um, you would have to open the phone to view the text. And um, hold on, yeah, like the reason I'm getting another phone because like even though it's touchscreen keypad or glow through keypad, I want like a real touchscreen touchscreen. So. This phone's not really doing the job for the touch screen part, but it's okay. Cause I'm 13, this is an okay phone for 13 year old. And um, it's like a finger magnet, as you can see when it's in front of the light. It's a finger magnet. Um, so we're gonna look at this, a side view of it. Um, right here, this is for speakers. This is the volume volume rocker down up. Um, let me look at this. That's the slot for your micro SD card. Um, this is sticking up because I broke off the piece right there. But yeah, that's where you plug it into your computer, USB charger, data cable, whatever you want to call it. In the top here, you have your microphone jack. Yeah. Then um, on over here, you have nothing. Um, oh, and one thing that's really good about this phone is that a 3G phone as you can probably see right there not good with this camera about to get a new flip cam but right here it says quad cam 3G um uh but yeah it comes with 600 megabytes now I don't know about you but that's a lot um so like I said it's 3G let me get out of this okay okay I'm gonna take you guys to some of the web browsing too. Okay, has a two megapixel camera, pretty loud and clear speaker at the same time. Um, it's a 2.6 inch v VGA screen. Um, um, this is the dedicated camera button right here inside the corner. Um, it has a face button right there where like when you're sending a message, this is made to put faces inside the message um two, it has two soft keys those are very useful mine pull up options and contacts don't know about yours um yes it has apps on it it has app like facebook apps um let me go look at myspace app um yahoo app so yeah and yes that's Nicki Minaj is my background so um the the call quality is really good yeah the call quality 
I see very few people with this kind of phone, but it's okay. It's a great phone. You can get one from Best Buy, Radio Shack, or of course a Boost Mobile store. Um, uh, I got mine from Radio Shack. Um, yeah, but most of the time when I'm getting a new phone, I get it from Radio Shack because they have the cheapest ones. They sell them for really cheap. And so let me take you through just like a little web browsing short thing right here. My bad, I went to the wrong thing. Okay, let me go down, go to web browsing. Okay, it's pulling it up. Boost Mobile is loading the web. And if you can see it, I'm on Google. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna search MySpace. Can you see that I typed in MySpace? I'm gonna click search. You know, Google shows up pretty nice. Can you the average phone? But did you see how fast it loaded MySpace? Really fast for a hundred thirty dollar phone. But I'm not saying that a hundred thirty dollars is real cheap, but yeah, it's a good boost mobile phone. Uh, it's loading MySpace and all the logging in stuff. Don't really feel like doing that. Um, I really meant for this to be a really short review. So that's pretty much about it. Um, I could show you how to take a picture. Okay, like I said it's the dedicated camera key. So click that and click on camera. Then there you go. You seeing like the same thing, double screen, like pretty cool. Yeah. So let's take a little shot. Oh yeah, when you're doing this. Most people like want to hold the phone like this, but really can't do that because your finger will be getting in front of this camera, which if you want to take some pictures, you can't have it like that. So you're going to have to hold it like this. Yeah, you might take the picture like that. Yeah. Make that noise. So one time I was taking a picture at a wedding and it made that loud noise. I was put on the spot. So yeah, you don't want to do that. So. That's pretty much my 7, 30, almost 8 minute review of this annual incognito. I might do another review on it maybe later, but thank you. Bye.